Greetings, Algo Artisans. We're going to talk about HBAR Gala Athena and what in the world happened with HBAR yesterday. And we're going to jump into the charts right now. Okay, so we're taking a look at the daily chart for Hedera Hashgraph, otherwise known as HBAR. And there was some news that came out that essentially threw the market into a tizzy and had this double within uh, within about a day. Pretty crazy price action. And as you can see, it's actually heading back down. So let's take a look at the higher time frame to see what might actually happen with this chart. Because Hedera Hashgraph has been around for a long time and it was a very popular chain. I want to say going back all the way to 2018, Okay, so we've got the weekly chart here, and this is going all the way back to 2019, so it might be that's uh, when it started. And we can see this uh, certainly benefited from the last bull run from the 2020 halving. So right at the halving price went from about a penny all the way up to eight cents. So we had a little over a times eight. And then Hashgraph actually didn't do a whole lot until 2021, until right at the end of the uh, last cycle, it went from two cents and it topped out at about 55 what is that about 60 cents so you're looking at basically a times 30 which is just a tremendous move now it did go all the way back down and bottomed out at about three cents so this is in 2023 so you can see how these cryptos they can do times 20 times 30 whatever it is and then go right back down to where they were um so basically three cents that's the bottom out now you can see here that we have a massive poke up and this is not really something that was expected and it was actually based on news and it it appears that that news was not exactly what people thought it was, right? And it uh, got cleared up pretty quickly. It involved BlackRock, and we're going to get into an article here. First, I do want to take a look at where Hedera Hashgraph could go, just based on some old price action. And I do see some areas of interest for the near term. Now, once the bull market for altcoins kicks off, if in fact it does, and I'm pretty sure it will, um, price probably will go between about 20 and 28 cents, right? Um, this is where it went uh, before for some time it bounced back and forth and there is some even older uh, price action that does support so that's what i would look to first is about 19 20 cents and then uh, having a top at 26 in price may just blast right through that if bull market is strong enough or it might range there for a time and then the next areas that we're looking at of course would be Approaching those all-time highs, uh, we have 35 cents, and uh, I probably would just pay attention to the all-time highs after that, which is roughly 58 cents. And that is about a times six, times five, really, from, from where price is right now. But what caused this massive spike up? Let's just say that the news is not what we thought it was. It involved BlackRock. BlackRock is clearing it up, and the price is going back down to normal. But let's jump into that. So Decrypt uh, Alpha Reports actually has the data right here. It says, one of Black BlackRock's funds has been tokenized on Hedera, a distributed ledger akin to a blockchain. According to Tuesday announcement, this led to the price of Hedera's HBAR token skyrocketing 113% in the 12 hours that followed the announcement, according to CoinGecko. But now the price is dropping as more precise details emerge and BlackRock denies a direct link to the move. Digital asset exchange Arcax has expanded its range of tokenized fund shares to now offer BlackRock's ICS US Treasury Money Market Fund. And the previous offerings have been created created both on Hedera and Ethereum blockchains, but this new offering appears to be solely on Hedera. But while the announcement prominently featured BlackRock, the investment giant clarified to decrypt that it is not directly involved in the tokenization effort. Okay, so basically HBAR was uh, venturing into RWA, right? Real world asset market segment. And uh, they mentioned BlackRock and it was kind of more of a name drop and BlackRock is clearing that up. They say we have not worked with Hedera. Arcax distributes our product through tokenization and is using Hedera. So long story short, they're just letting you know that while there is a connection, they're not directly involved and that has taken some air out of the uh, out of the coin. We're seeing it retrace back down to not quite its prior levels. It's actually, I think, probably still 40% up to the pre-announcement levels. So it might be that the market is still pretty excited about what's going on. Now, Hed Hedera Hashgraph is it's a decentralized public network where developers can build secure for applications near real-time consensus. The platform is owned and governed by a council of global innovators, including Avery Dennison, Boeing, Deutsche Telekom, DLA Piper, FIS, Google, 
Google, IBM, LG Electronics, big names. The consensus service, the Hedera consensus service, acts as a trust layer for any application or permission network and allows for the creation of an immutable and verifiable log of messages. Basically, it appears that it's not a blockchain, it's a ledger. Um, I, I kind of, I want to say it's more of a protocol than a blockchain, but either way, that's what it is. And uh, apparently it does have some pretty good throughput and it's got a lot of people behind it that are big, big names. Okay, so I do think Hedera will do well. We saw a times 30 last bull run and and if we were to see a times 30 again from the market bottom of three cents, then that would take price to almost a dollar, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, you know, the dollar would be a, um, a psychological number, right? Now, if a lot more money than expected enters the crypto universe, then we could see price go past that. But I do think a dollar is a fair price, which is basically a times 10, a little bit less than that, like a times nine from the current price. So that's the price prediction that I see. And again, if I were in Hedera, I might be interested in taking profits around 30 four cents, 58 cents, and then maybe somewhere in the 90s. That's what I would do. All right, so let's move on. We're just going to update Gala. Uh, Gala did just come out with a little bit more information. We talked all about Gala, so go back and look at that video if you want to know what Gala is. But we are seeing some activity there on their uh, X account. And uh, long story short, they just talked a lot about their roadmap. Uh, it says here from Jason Brink, aka Bitbender, changes are important. They're absolutely critical to success. The past few months, you've probably seen a dramatic acceleration of progress at powered by Gala, which is Gala, and for the whole Gala ecosystem. Massive projects are coming out of build mode and rocketing out into public awareness. The explosion of progress on Gala Chain, Go Gala Games, Go Gala Music, Go Gala Films, uh, CollectVox, and so much more are driven by massive change internally. Additive changes, subtractive changes, very long story short, they're showing progress. And as you can see here, some of the projects that are were more sort of in like drawing board mode are starting to make it out and uh, see progress. So whenever you have uh, regular updates like this on such a very popular coin, you are going to see movement in price. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so here we are. Price actually is, uh, it's headed down on the weekly. It had a big pump and it's starting to find a floor. I know we just talked about this not long ago, but I do want to map this out on the chart so we can see if now might be a good time to enter and where might price go from here. The top of the move up in 2024, right at the end of the year was at 3.7 cents. And it does appear that price went ahead and grabbed that liquidity right there, right? It touched the top of that area. So where might it go next? Let's take a look. Okay, so this is the more or less the daily time frame. It's the 18 hour and it appears that Gallup may want to grab a little bit more liquidity from down below before it goes back up. Now, this actual formation up here is called a bearish descending triangle. And in this case, it is a reversal, which in crypto is not uncommon. Generally, people are looking at these triangles as a continuation, uh, but the price action tells the same story no matter what. And I'm not a huge pattern trader at this point in my career, but I will say that the data that these patterns present is very useful. And what basically happened here is that price was strong, headed up, got knocked down, and the bulls defended 54 cents. And then it popped back up. Now the bears knocked it down a little bit sooner, but the bulls still defended that same 54 cents. And then the bears knocked it down sooner and the bulls could no longer defend. So in that case, does that mean that the price is done falling? Well, one thing we can do is use a Fibonacci extension to take a look at where price should go. And the 618 is down here, not too far below this price. But if you look at where this wick went, it actually went right to that 618. So let me draw this a little bit more clearly so you can see where that is. So here's your 618 right there. Square around it and it's got this red line right here that might be a little bit hard to see. And if I were to extend that line out further, you can see that it grabbed right there at that 618. And now it's headed back up. Uh, it appears to be creating a range. So what I think is going to happen next is going to, of course, depend quite a bit on Bitcoin and what Bitcoin does. But I do see a range being created right here based on an older range and price will probably bounce around in here until Bitcoin starts to give us a clue as to what it is going to do next. As we know, Bitcoin has started to range itself. And so the volatility is dropping on Bitcoin. So what is happening with Bitcoin is a little bit in question. The halving is over. Post halvings tend to be pretty calm as we talked about yesterday and this morning. So so price may continue to range until Bitcoin is done ranging, right? So we might see something like this. And then eventually, I'm guessing it'll pop up right now. Again, that'll depend on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin were to drop down below 60,000, then of course, the price might dip down and grab some liquidity. But for now, this is my thesis, as I do think Bitcoin is going to range where it is and pop up, right? So this thesis is based on Bitcoin and what I think is going to happen. And if you want to know what that is, you can go to this morning's live show or yesterday's show where I detailed those.
those things. Okay, so that is Gala. We're going to take a quick look at F Athena. Okay, well, Athena had made a big splash, and right now it appears as if the waters are receding. And we are seeing not exactly the same pattern as we talked about, but we are seeing some lower highs. And so that tells me that the bears are kicking in sooner and sooner. So as Athena had pop topped out right here, you can see it tried to uh, reclaim that top and it got knocked down. And every time it reached up, it's gotten knocked down, including this time right here. So we do see a bit of a support based on these bounces here, there, here, and effectively here. And price is right at that level right now. So what we're seeing here is essentially what we saw, very similar to what we saw with Gala, where Gala's already been through this, but Athena is bouncing basically over and over again at about 89 cents. And then it's getting knocked down sooner and sooner and sooner. So as long as this continues, then we can expect to see price fall. And this would actually be a continuation version of that bearish descending triangle. And let me go ahead and draw that out. Okay, so it's uh, not the cleanest in the world, but it does more or less fit. So some basic ideas of where price could go if it drops out. Now, remember, we're in the crypto bull market. Price may simply not drop out. Price could just continue to go up as if this triangle did not exist, right? And that's going to depend on Bitcoin. But some very basic areas of where the price could drop out might be something around 77 cents and in a more dismal scenario, dismal and abysmal, 62 cents. Now, this is a very popular coin. It's got a lot of collateral behind it. But as we talked about in the show last week, a lot of this collateral is, I think it's like all of its collateral is going to be in crypto. You got Bitcoin, you got Ethereum, and both of those are taking hits in price. As that collateral goes down, so would the value of the company because their holdings are going down. So as long as Bitcoin is bearish, so too will be Athena. Now, just because Bitcoin gets bullish does not necessarily mean that Athena will, but it probably means that it will, right? So anything can happen. The most likely scenario I'm expecting right now, if, uh, if Athena cannot bounce right here at this 89 cents, it may break downwards and grab liquidity. And what seems to make the most sense is just right here at 77 cents. And the reason I think that is because uh, you have this blip right as soon as the coin hit the exchanges, you see in this price action, I'm going to draw a square around it to make it easier to see. But you see how price kind of blipped on the way. So even this, though this price here was not really that relevant to the big scheme of things, now the price is revisiting that area, it has bounced off that a couple of times. These two uh, needles that came down bounced right off that too. So price may simply grab some liquidity and bounce back up and go from here. Now, whether or not it goes up from there or just bounces around, that is another story. And again, I think will depend on Bitcoin. But my thesis yet again is that as long as Bitcoin is bullish, these coins will recover. And as long as Bitcoin is bearish, they will not. Now, if Bitcoin stays sideways for quite a long time, then I would expect some of these altcoins to actually do pretty well. And the reason is that when Bitcoin ranges for a long time, the market becomes confident that price discovery is now complete, at least in the short term. And that means quite possibly the money can go into the altcoins because the market is getting confident in Bitcoin and where it is. And the market might actually be getting impatient as well. Right now, the price is ranging and might drop down a little bit. In the meantime, I do hope this was helpful. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the show right here, but I'm going to read off one of our testimonials from Diane. And Diane is somebody who has been working with uh, V and I for a number of years in uh, different trading kind of scenarios. And so she's got some nice things to say about us. Let's go ahead and listen to that and then we'll end the show. I've been following you around since 2017, 2018. Rogue Money, Watches Trade, Chart Snipers. I've been lurking in the background, but things are finally coming together for me these days. Putting the work in, back testing, the whole deal. This is a very direct, decisive course that you've put together here. It just gives me a lot of confidence. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Please come over to algofactory.tech. We help people build algorithms so that they can trade in whatever way they want. They might be able to pull money out of the market daily, weekly, monthly, however they design their algorithm is up to them. So come on over, algofactory.tech. Don't forget, trade your job, upgrade your life. We'll see you on the next one.